A chronon is a proposed quantum of time, that is, a discrete and indivisible unit of time as part of a hypothesis that proposes that time is not continuous. Early work While time is a continuous quantity in both standard quantum mechanics and general relativity, many physicists have suggested that a discrete model of time might work, especially when considering the combination of quantum mechanics with general relativity to produce a theory of quantum gravity. The term was introduced in this sense by Robert Levy in 1927. A quantum theory in which time is a quantum variable with a discrete spectrum, and which is nevertheless consistent with special relativity, was proposed by Chen Ning Yang in 1947. Henry Maginot in 1950 suggested that the Cronin might be the time for light to travel the classical radius of an electron. <laughs> Work by Calderola A prominent model was introduced by Piero Calderola in 1980. In Calderola's model, one cronin corresponds to about 6.27 times 10 minus 24 seconds for an electron. This is much longer than the Planck time, which is only about 5.39 times 10 minus 44 seconds. The Planck time is a theoretical lower bound on the length of time that could exist between two connected events, but it is not a quantization of time itself since there is no requirement that the time between two events be separated by a discrete number of Planck times. For example, ordered pairs of events A, B, and B, C could each be separated by slightly more than one Planck time. This would produce a measurement limit of one Planck time between A and B or B and C, but a limit of three Planck times between A and C. Additionally, the Planck time is a universal quantization of time itself, whereas the Cronin is a quantization of the evolution in a system along its world line. Consequently, the value of the Cronin, like other quantized observables in quantum mechanics, is a function of the system under consideration, particularly its boundary conditions. The value for the Cronin, θ0, is calculated from θ0 equals 1 6 pi e0 e2 m0 c 3 display style theta underscore 0 equals frac 1 6 pi epsilon underscore 0 frac e caret 2 m underscore 0 c caret 3 from this formula it can be seen that the nature of the moving particle being considered must be specified since the value of the cronin depends on the particle's charge and mass Calderola claims the Cronin has important implications for quantum mechanics, in particular that it allows for a clear answer to the question of whether a free-falling charged particle does or does not emit radiation. This model supposedly avoids the difficulties met by Abraham Lorentz's and Dirac's approaches to the problem, and provides a natural explication of quantum decoherence. See also Elementary particle Gravistar List of particles Particle physics Theoretical physics Notes <laughs>